things went so smoothly. I'm disappointed for some reason. But of course, I am the Ash Maiden of this planet, you know. Under normal circumstances, the Night Lord should come to my shrine with his tail between his legs. Instead, he sends no response and forces me to come to see him directly. He has become pompous. Have you ever met the Night Lord? Of course. When this generation's Day Lord and Night Lord ascended the throne, they met with me. As talented with the arts as he is, the Day Lord is a coward, so I felt he was not up to the task. While, on the other hand, the Night Lord was astute. He tends to be arrogant, but he is a cute little thing. The Night Lord's plight is that the Nightfallers are being brainwashed by Gemini, right? Correct. If the Nightfallers make a move, it will prompt the Daybreakers to confront them voluntarily. That will bring out the eerie children, whom we shall strike down at once, ensuring that there will be no more wasted lives. <laughs> what? What is so funny, Matoy? I was thinking that you're really kind, the way you talk. You're always talking about how precious the planet is, but you also care about the Daybreakers and the Nightfallers, don't you? I would say that it is an obligation more than I would say I care about them. An obligation? Yes. This obligation has been etched in my soul since the moment I was born. As the story goes, I was the ashen child born from a night father and a day mother. Thus, I am a blood relative of the day and night. Due to their foolishness, I tend to want to rid myself of both. But it would be fiendish of me to abandon my relatives. I cannot use the life my mother and father blessed me with to behave in that manner. I'm sorry for teasing you. <laughs> no worries. It was idle gossip to pass the time. Only I know how serious I can be. However, the strong will to protect something or someone produces power whose strength can surpass even divine intervention. You should think about what it is you want to protect, Matoy. What I want to protect... It definitely should not be something as ambiguous as everyone. It has been a while, Night Lord. You did not respond to my message, so I came to see you directly. Do you understand the matter at hand? I apologize. What? Lord! This is no good at all. How could my copy spit that out? Gemini! <gasps> Did you eat the Night Lord? No, no. To the contrary. I felt sorry for him to be all alone. So, I ate everyone. You! <gasps> oh, you're angry. How scary. But... I know that you're exhausted from handling Magatsu. No matter how much of a goddess you are, in your state... Under these conditions... <laughs> there's no way you can face us. Help 
Want to go at it? Want to take us on? If so, we'll eat you. You're who we wanted to taste from the beginning. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? Didn't you eat her? Yeah, I did. But it doesn't feel the same as it usually does. Seeing your face brings back memories. And that voice! To run into you in a place like this is... I suppose you might call it a coincidence. Luther! Oh, would you stop? I did not come here with the intention of fighting you two. <laughs> what a funny question. In this situation, can you say that you are alive? This is the internal universe of Gemini, the duplicate. You and I were gobbled up and, alas, are in their stomach. However, I have no complaints. One does not often get the chance to experience the interior of Dark Falls. If I could get used to this, I think it would be rather fun. I also have no interest in what lies outside. I have no interest in a world without Xion, without omniscience. Do you understand, young lady? I no longer have a reason to fight you. So would you mind lowering your weapon? Thank you. Now then, keep your weapon drawn and follow me. This place is slightly dangerous, but it is really quite interesting. Since you came all this way, I might as well show you around.
What do you think? Does it not interest you? This is the internal universe of Gemini, the chaotic place where they eat and congregate. If you fought them, you should have seen their ability. The ability to copy what they consume. They use that ability to call those produced in their internal universe to the mortal world. We should call this a parallel universe. We are ingested lined up in a row, and called forth. My, it would be so interesting to study. If I had had data on this, I could have created even better clones. Quiet! I will never forgive you for eliminating Xion! You toyed with arcs and made everyone suffer! I made everyone suffer, eh? If that is the case, why did Xi'an not stop me? <laughs> she exceeded all life forms. Although I had seized general control, there must have been a way to interfere with me. Even so, she never interfered with the creation of arcs and clones. And yet, she herself produced the ultimate being. The ultimate being? Well, it no longer matters at this point, but I will never forget it. The truth is, if Arx was never created, this world would already be under the False Bond's control.
completed. You have a horrific expression on your face, young lady. Are you dissatisfied with the truth I laid before you? Of course I'm dissatisfied! You Photoners started it all when you produced the false fun! But the one who permitted the creation of the profound darkness from which all false spawn originate was Xion, young lady. At that time, she must have realized it. With her ability to calculate, she must have seen what was to happen in the future. What would happen to the Photoners when the profound darkness was generated? The outcome was as she knew it would be. When they battled the profound darkness, the Photoners lost their ability to manipulate photons and so created arcs. The profound darkness was sealed away, but Dark Falls remained. Arx and the False Bond continue to fight, even now. A moot battle. No, it's not! Yes, it is, young lady. Each Dark Falls has its own desire. And, in response to the effect the vessel has on them, their desire becomes warped even more. The Elder is an easy example. The Vessel had such a strong effect on him that he forgot his cherished desire and lived for battle only. The same happened with the Apprentice and the Fallen, and I was not much different. Gemini, however, are different. Only Gemini use their power to actualize the desire they cherish. And what is that? Obviously. It is to revive the Profound Darkness. The quickest way to resurrect the Profound Darkness is to eat the Dark Falls Collective. I suppose that, as they do so, F-factors equal to that of the Profound Darkness accumulate, 
And before long, it will be revived. Try to remember. Gemini ate the apprentice, and the dark falls within me. And they must have eaten the elder. The countdown has already begun. The countdown to the eradication of the world once the profound darkness is revived, that is. Yes, that might be your only option. If the profound darkness is revived, dark falls will be produced endlessly. Gemini is giving you a hard time by itself, so you have no chance of winning that battle. Above all, I would like you to not forget the fact that you are currently in Gemini's stomach. I don't understand. What exactly is the profound darkness? Why did you create something like that? The profound darkness was an imitation of Xion. It was an artificial pacifist that aimed to create photoners. It was an artificial Akashic record, used to allow idle humanity the ability to operate photons and control all as they pleased. At the time, however, human civilization was coming to an end. After they became idle, they worked on creation while negative emotions set in. Photons are strongly affected by emotions. The more there are, the more dramatically their abilities change when internal emotions change. As a result, the profound darkness became the incarnation of negativity and produced false spawn to destroy the entire universe. Young lady, you asked me why something like that was created. I, too, would like to ask that question. Why did she not stop it while she foresaw that catastrophe? That said, I can understand her feelings a little better now. Surely, she would say the reason that she did it was because she was lonely. So, I have talked about the outside world all this time. Put simply, destruction is inevitable. The revival of the profound darkness is all but certain. Do you two really wish to return to a world in which only suffering exists?
We don't even need to think about it. We have to get out of here. We're needed elsewhere. In that case, leave. This is the edge of the universe. Raise Clarissa and collect your power. It will look the same as when you defeated and endured against the Fall Spawn. Are you able to clear a path for us? It is an impossible feat for me, but you two can do it. You are Ark's operatives, after all. Go now, failures. Enjoy your world to the utmost. Your world of uncertainty. Devoid of omniscience. Contact Philia. Prepare a medical check ASAP. Sure. We also need to contact everyone searching Harukatan. Jeez, you two came back much too quickly. Oh, um, sorry that we have caused you so much worry. I'm glad you're all right. <laughs> 